Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool, and this is the PB Swiss Tools PB470 or 470. It's actually a set of bits and a holder with a couple other features designed specifically for bicycles. Uh, beautiful melted features here, very smooth, nothing to catch on your bike pack or your pocket. So what do we have here? Well, first of all, on the outside, we've got two tire irons, and these just pop right off. They're just a hard plastic with the PB Swiss logo on one side. Uh, they do have a spoke engagement hook right here. Small, better probably on the road, but um, many times if you're working with uh, tubeless mountain bike tires, you just have to break that initial bead, and then you can go to town on it. So what do we have here? Well, this is a unique design. Now, why would you want this? Uh, especially in an era where, as I just recently did a tool review of this, um, or all of these other designs with considerably more tools. Um, unique designs. Well, two things. One, these are shop quality. These are designed for heavy use. The precision is there. It's, if you're building something like this Park Tool, this is the uh, MT1, very simple design. It's got a slotted screwdriver, a couple of hexes, you know, from six to two, uh, and then an eight and a 10 as far as uh, uh, bolts. You know, it's, it's kind of era specific too, or any of these. Sometimes we use better quality like this Park Tool you know, but we only need a few sizes, um, but we want high quality hexes and torques. So what PB Swiss has done, first of all, is this is held on by a five millimeter stainless steel hex wrench. Now, these are my shop tools here, these PB Swiss. They are outstanding, and often that's what you want simply because the precision and the quality you know, the fit is critical, especially in some of the alloy and uh, titanium components. So this is a five that is probably the most used of all of the, uh, the hexes. What else do we have? Well, first of all, out here, and you can push these out uh, to release them. What do I have? I have got a bit driver, quarter inch with a magnet that fits right on this five millimeter. I can use it on this end, or of course on this end. And then I've got access to the rest of my bits. I've got a six, I've got a four, three, two and a half, two, T25, a Phillips number two, and a three millimeter slotted here. And all of those are very common uh, on traditional bikes. They're held in this nice plastic case, simple design. So I can just pop whatever I need out, drop it in, and I have essentially a shop quality tool. You can easily pull that out, drop it in there for the leverage. PB Swiss quality all the way around. Everything is made in Switzerland. Everything has, if you look, the branding all the way around the larger components. They're serialized, serial number there. Highest quality, simple design. Now, why would you want something like this? It's about 40 bucks. That's a lot for a bit set. It's a lot for a, you know, a, a very simple tool uh, set. Well, you're getting shop quality tools. You're getting it in a very nice little, uh, little container. Let me drop that in and snap that in. There we go to hold it down. Um, simple design. Whereas something like these, these can sell for uh, the same, you know, upwards of the same from between 25, 35, 45 dollars, depending on the number of tools and features. But a lot of these don't have the quality. Yes, this might be a T25, but it is a T25 that has been made into this, um, this little rotating piece inside a multi-tool. Same here, same here. Uh, you can get better quality if you go with the industrial 
These are shop quality tools, but still I would much rather have a dedicated one. And then when you go to something like this, these are more I consider emergency emergency tools. And I have no trouble, you know, saying these are outstanding because you're not using them all the time. In fact, you might never use some of the features on these things. Um, I do often like a chain cutter. That'd be nice here. But this is also is set up for supplementing with other features. Let's say I want to, you know, throw on a larger handle. Uh, if I figure that I may be doing more work than not, a long trip, etc. And then I can supply, say, pliers. I could supply, um, if I wanted more specific, longer reach ones. So if I had a bike that required a six, uh, six is often, you know, because of the size, um, requiring a little bit more torque, no problem there. But for a standard um, bike tool kit that holds together in one piece, melted features, very smooth, which is often what I like about these versus abominations like this. <laughs> I mean, I love this thing. It is hilarious. Doesn't do much of anything well, but I like that, that they were exploring you know, how to stuff so many tools into one particular tool. Uh, anyway, PB Swiss has knocked it out of the park. Yes, there's room for improvement if they want to continue their bike line. I can see a couple of other tools that would be really nice to have. But overall, for the price, now Vera also makes a bike-specific set of tools. I did a review on that a while ago and actually gave that set away to a bike packer. But... This is my new one. This may become maybe my new favorite, supplanting this one. It is a lot bigger, like twice the size, but it's also fairly small, fairly light. It's under 100 grams. And many times there are tools on these larger ones that you just never use for uh, your specific bikes anymore. So there it is, the PB Swiss PB470 Bicycle Tool Kit. I love this thing. And with that, Doc out.